I've got your back, babe. You know I have, but if you'd actually told me about this sudden love for Scotland... Sarah, please, I want you to come home. I could have talked you out of it before Sarah's Oscar winning performance. Look who I found. Babe, please, can we Get talk? off me! Sarah! What do you think she'll end that? Get out. I'm just trying to explain how she's feeling. She's sick of being moved, having her life disrupted. And whose fault is that? And how do you think she's going to feel when she finds out you're a murderer? Will you just keep your voices down? Yeah, well, maybe she'd understand that I was trying to protect you from all the bad oh, decisions you keep up. on making. Don't even pretend to be a decent dad, because you've got no idea what that means. You know, every time I get close to somebody, you ruin it, because you're a psycho! You can't pin all of this on me. Every time there's some kind of disaster in your life, you always drag your kids through it. You never put them first. Right. Sit down now, the pair of you, because we're going to talk this through. Tried that. He sabotaged it. Scotland. Well, you go then. Why don't you just forget to come home? I can't leave Maura and the boys. Take them with you. What? If you're so bothered about me, then you will do what I want, won't you? Because I tell you now, I can't be anywhere near you. Your face makes me sick. What do you want from me? Hey, Debs. I know what I've done. And I've been punished for it every single day since. Still alive, though, aren't you? The rock of this family. Why don't you go to the police, then, eh? Because you've been threatening it every day, but you never do it. I've had enough.